Hello and welcome to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia Lost can be found. If you're new to Dragalia Lost and or curious about what it is, you've come to the right place. Dragalia Lost launched in September 2018 and it's about to celebrate its second anniversary, so now's a great time to jump in. This video goes over what Dragalia Lost is all about and what I love about it so much. Dragalia Lost is an action role-playing game for mobile devices co-developed by Nintendo and Psy Games. It's hands down one of the best mobile games I've ever played, and here's what I think sets it apart. The game features an original, ongoing main campaign, a super colorful cast of protagonists, a few new events each month, action-oriented combat, dual language support and voice acting, a stellar soundtrack led by Daoko, and hundreds of summonable characters and dragons to collect, all with their own side stories. The biggest draw to Dragalia, in my opinion, is its co-op gameplay and combat system, which is most akin to something like Monster Hunter, just optimized for a mobile platform. In Dragalia Lost, all adventurers have basic attacks which can be used to charge up special skills unique to them, and by dealing damage over time, they build up a gauge that lets them shapeshift into a dragon. Up to four players each bring their own characters into battle against dozens of bosses, each of whom have their own attack patterns and special abilities. In some instances, Dragalia branches out with its quest design to wave-based and defensive battle modes, which are more reminiscent of a Musou or Warriors game, while at other times it scales up its bosses to a larger-than-life raid size where up to 16 characters try take on the boss at once. The core of combat is simple, do basic attacks until you charge up your skills, dodge your enemies, and win as a team, but the pace of battle and variety of foes and bosses you face keeps things feeling fresh. Dragalia's main campaign is lengthy and there's tons of side content to dive into on a permanent basis. The game's set in a post-apocalyptic world steeped in lore in which politics are afoot and humans and dragons coexist. As you play through the main story, you'll learn more about the game's RPG mechanics, which include three types of gear. Weapons, worm prints, and dragons, a customizable castle known as the Halidom, and more. The game includes a roadmap for new players called the Royal Regiment, with tasks to help you get started exploring all it has to offer. I recommend beginners start with the story until finishing Chapter 7, after which point many side quests and modes open up. These include quests designed for daily play where you collect resources to power up your characters, a mode with unique bosses called Void Battles, an archive of past limited time events, and several other quests, including sets of endgame bosses who can be fought repeatedly to craft some of the strongest gear in the game. Almost all quests in Dragalia Lost can be played either in co-op or single player with very few exceptions. The co-op nature of Dragalia differentiates it from mobile titles in which competitive modes apply pressure to keep up with others, and Dragalia Lost is instead at its best when played with friends or about a group of two to four people. Having said that, the game is very open-ended. If you want to go at it alone, that's perfectly viable, and if you prefer to play co-op, that's an option too. Dragalia uses stamina systems similar to other mobile games to limit how much solo and co-op you can do each day, but in practice you have plenty to keep playing for as long as you want to. Stamina regenerates organically, refresh items are distributed liberally, and unlike in many other games, in Dragalia, losing costs you only time, but you can retry all quests until you succeed without expending any stamina. You can play through pretty much every quest in the game and never hit a barrier as far as stamina goes, and it only really comes into play for more hardcore players who wish to repeatedly grind out Dragalia's final bosses for stronger gear. For those seeking that repeated challenge, it's available but not required. Many players enjoy Dragalia most as a side game and treat the end game more as one and done type content. In fact, that might be the game's biggest weakness. It's more like a traditional game than a mobile title in the sense that you can reach a point of completion with frequent play, then kind of run out of things to do for a while. I'd say Dragalia is best enjoyed slowly and savored, even if you technically can rush through its early game. The game's dev team is very responsive to community feedback, and frequent quality of life updates have made the new player experience smoother and faster than it's ever been.
Like other mobile games, Dragalia Lost uses a chance-based summoning system when it comes to collecting new characters. Each time you summon, there's an element of surprise, luck, and randomness. Where Dragalia excels compared to others in its genre is in the generosity of its currencies and in how the game is designed such that any adventurer can clear any type of quest with sufficient effort and teamwork. Dragalia Lost is the most generous free-to-play gacha game I've ever played, full stop. You get tons of free summoning resources just from playing, and furthermore, the free characters you get from the main campaign are already strong enough to clear all types of content in the game. This gives players the freedom to pull for characters they truly like, rather than worrying purely about power. And despite Dragalia being a brand new IP, it's easy to quickly grow attached to its characters thanks to its well-written adventurer stories and event stories which run the gamut from lighthearted romps to sentimental tearjerkers. Many events also come with their own special song or soundtrack, and the overall production value enhances immersion. The complete voice acting in Japanese and partial work in English are both great. I wouldn't say the gameplay is fully balanced. Some adventurers fulfill unique roles or do high damage, making them hard to replace. Dragons also tend to be a big source of power locked behind summoning. And spending money on the game can certainly make things easier if that's something you decide to do. Major rebalancing across the game's elements and its many weapons is planned for the anniversary. But my point is that if you're looking to just have a fun time with the character of your choice, you can definitely do so now, particularly if you participate in the game Games community via its subreddit or Discord servers. Dragalia has some built-in alliance features and in-battle stickers for communication in co-op gameplay. These are serviceable, but if you want to dive deeper into the fandom, experiment with teams and new strategies, and find other players to engage with, well, that's best done via third-party applications. Still, as a player who tends to gravitate more towards single-player games, I appreciate Nintendo's influence in this department. Toxicity is significantly reduced when players can only utilize cutesy pop-up stickers to talk. And as always, if you're looking for a Discord to join, the link is in the description below. Ultimately, Dragalia Lost isn't a perfect game, but I think it's one of the best executed within its genre, and it's more worth your time than ever if you're looking for a mobile title to really sink your teeth into. Between its deep combat, lush presentation, and intriguing characters, Dragalia Lost has something for everyone to enjoy. Two years since its release, it's clear that Dragalia Lost's dev team has listened to player feedback and streamlined its systems, all while maintaining a generous, accessible stance towards its community. All in all, I sincerely hope you'll give Dragalia Lost a try and that you have a wonderful experience with it. Being a part of this game and community via YouTube has been a blast over the past two years, and I'm excited for what's to come. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time!